Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and welcome to episode 11 of Battle Reports, a video series where I'll be going over a particular weapon in Battlefield 1 and breaking down the statistics of the weapon to provide you guys with a better idea of how the weapon will perform on the battlefield. So for today's episode, we're actually going to be taking a look at the Madsen MG. Now, of course, in real life, it's also known as the Madsen MG. So, of course, we can definitely see that DICE was able to carry over the real life name into Battlefield 1. Now, just in case you guys are not very familiar with the Madsen, of course, we're going to be talking about some of the historical relevance of this light machine gun. The Madsen was a light machine gun that was designed in 1902. It was the world's first true light machine gun that was produced in large quantities. Consequently, Madsen could produce 12 different calibers to over 34 different countries around the world, where it would see extensive combat usage for over 100 years. Leading up to World War I, the Madsen was expensive to produce, but it was also known to be extremely reliable during combat situations. The Imperial Russian Army bought 1,250 Madsen machine guns and deployed them during the Russo-Japanese War. In addition, the German Army deployed the Madsen machine gun in 1914, arming infantry companies, mountain troops, and later the stormtroopers. In any case, the stormtroopers from the German army were actually able to hit their targets in many cases, so of course they may not be big fans of the Star Wars franchise. Now with a brief excerpt of the history of the Madsen kind of talked about, let's transfer over and talk a little bit about the variant system, considering that the Madsen MG does contain three different variants that provide different benefits. The three available variants are the Madsen MG Low Weight, the Madsen MG Storm, and last but certainly not least, we have the Madsen MG Trench. Now that we brought to light the three available variants, let's break it down a little bit further and talk about some of the benefits that each one provides. For starters, the low weight variant is considered to be lightweight, which allows it to recover faster from recoil, thus making it more accurate. Next in line, we have the storm variant, which is granted with less recoil while aiming down sight compared to other variants. And last but certainly not least, we have the trench variant, which provides you with the benefits of it having better hip fire accuracy compared to previous variants. Now that we've had the opportunity to further break down the variant system in Battlefield 1, let's of course talk a little bit about the statistics of the weapon considering that this is the most prominent information that you as a player will run into while utilizing this weapon. Now of course it is worth noting that we're only going to be focusing on the general information about this specific machine gun. As we previously brought to light, the variant system does slightly differ some statistics about the weapon depending on the benefit that it has been granted. Now with that being said, the Madsen MG does have a rounds per minute clocking in at 540. Now this value compared to the real life counterpart is a little bit higher considering that the real life Madsen MG did have a rounds per minute that clocked in at only 450 rounds per minute. In addition, this machine gun has been granted with a 800 meters per second velocity. However, this value for the velocity unfortunately places the Madsen still at the bottom tier when it comes down to the available machine guns that are still in the support category. Now transferring over to the damage model, you guys will notice that the Madsen MG does a maximum of 23 damage up until 12 meters. Now after 12 meters, you'll notice a gradual decline of the overall damage being outputted at range. Once we reach 42 meters, this weapon will be doing a minimum of 17.5 damage per round. Now to put this into layman's terms, all this really means is that this machine gun is going to require anywhere from 3 to 6 rounds to down an individual player. Like with most weapons in Battlefield 1, it is highly recommended to attempt to couple a few headshots in there considering that you will be doing more damage per round, thus making it require less ammunition to down an individual player. Now with a weapon of this configuration, you will be granted with 30 rounds in a magazine plus one in the chamber, giving you a total of 31 rounds in total. Now in the midst of suppressing the opposition and or killing players, of course you will find yourself having to reload at one point or another. In any case, if you happen to leave at least one round left in the magazine, of course you will be granted with a 2.65 second short reload. Likewise, if you happen to expend all of your ammunition available in the magazine, of course you will then be granted with a 4.2 second long reload. When you consider the very nature of utilizing light machine guns, of course you're going to be utilizing them in a passive manner. One of the greatest benefits of a weapon of this configuration is that once you start shooting at the opposition, you will suppress them in higher quantities compared to other weapons that are available in different categories. By the same token, light machine guns in Battlefield 1 do have a hidden benefit that many players don't necessarily recognize as occurring while utilizing these weapons. DICE introduced a new feature for Battlefield 1 where the longer you hold down the fire button while utilizing the light machine gun, the more accurate the light machine gun becomes at range. 
In addition to this benefit, your damage over range will be far greater compared to a submachine gun that has limited range but also performs very well in those close quarter combat situations. Ultimately, the mobile nature of the Madsen MG still grants players the ability to maintain a form of a run and gun playstyle. However, this weapon will struggle to perform up to snuff with the Automatico alongside any of the shotguns that are available in Battlefield 1. So as you guys may have been able to notice, the very nature of this weapon, especially in a mobile manner, does grant you the freedom that other machine guns just don't necessarily facilitate. These highly crafted weapons of mass destruction do grant you increased suppression, which of course is going to permit you the ability to suppress the opposition at those medium to long ranges. This will in turn decrease their performance at medium to long range, thus placing the benefit back into your hands considering that now you have the suppression on your side as well as increased damage over range. But anyway guys, that's really all the information I have for you. Hopefully you found something in the video insightful and or entertaining. But until the next episode guys, this has been NMO and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace!